economical. Since when were lemons a dollar? A lemon for a dollar. Mm. Lemon best. Mm hmm. I need more. We are going grocery shopping. Yay! <laughs> We're going to do a cheap grocery haul. I'm going to attempt to spend less than 40 Canadian dollars and we're gonna do a meal prep and hopefully I can make lots of food and hopefully I can get lots of things for $40 Canadian which is only about 30 US dollars. So wish me luck. Let's go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get some beans. Oh, why is it all so expensive? I'm trying to find the cheapest beans. <laughs> Chickpeas, do I want the large one? Yes. Two dollars. Do I want to spend two dollars? Mm. Here, I'll get black beans. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you go. President's Choice Black Beans. We're gonna get one can of that. Yay! 150. And then we need some chickpeas. Oh. 150. I've already spent three dollars. Why is penny cheaper? Let's get fettuccine. <laughs> I don't know why spaghetti is like a dollar more. So 150 here. fettuccine, no name brand. <laughs> Next we're gonna get tomato sauce. This is two thir two twenty nine. Tomato sauce again, no name brand. Yay! Okay, so we're gonna get this rice. It's five dollars. Apparently it cooks fast. It cooks like pasta. Interesting. Mm. So we'll get this. We need a hummus. Okay, we're gonna get this one. This is $3.99 for this tub. It's $3.50. Is that a joke? That's a joke. It used to be $2.50. Okay, so I found this one, uh, which is $2.29 for extra firm. It doesn't feel extra firm, but I'm just gonna go for it. Um, well, I guess we're getting one firm and one extra firm because I can't justify spending $3.50. I'm so angry. Okay, so we're gonna get mushrooms. Now, price, $6, guys, for 500 grams of mushrooms. So I'm just gonna get a few. I'm just gonna get a few and hope for the best. I never weigh stuff. <laughs> Maybe I should. I feel like if I just get like three, <laughs> that's economical, I think. Maybe, Maybe four. That should be like two dollars. Since when were lemons a dollar? It's a dollar. So, but we, we're gonna get a lemon. We're getting an onion. Is it literally gonna be two fifty? Should we weigh this? I think we should weigh this. Okay. Where's the scale? Where's the scale? <laughs> One eighty for an onion. This is three dollars for like an entire bag versus one eighty. So I may have to sacrifice and just get this, even though budget-wise we want to be spending less, but I just can't justify spending 180 for one onion. So it's gonna be three dollars for a bunch of onions. <laughs> We're gonna get some spinach. Four dollars. You know, I used to do a full-on weekly meal prep for like twenty dollars, like twenty, maybe twenty-five Canadian dollars. And now it's like it's a struggle to spend less than forty dollars. Okay, so we're gonna get some tortillas. Okay, this is three twenty-nine. You get, I think, ten. So we're gonna get frozen veggies. Frozen veggies are great. They're generally pretty cheap, and they're actually pretty healthy. So this one is two fifty. We're gonna get a mixture of peas, carrots, corn, green beans, and lima beans. Two fifty. Two ninety-nine each. Oh, each. Holy guys, this is. $3. Done. I have 80 cents left. What can I get for 80 cents? Maybe a tomato, like one whole, one lonesome tomato. Or oh, one more ma mushroom. <laughs> one more mushroom. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go get a tomato. So, two tomatoes. Let's see how much this is gonna weigh. I think you, it's 40.87. 40.87? Okay. Yeah. 40.87. Ooh! Done! So, this is the last thing. According to our calculations, this should be $40 or a little bit less. Let's see if our math is correct. $3.29. Broccoli. 
regular. One. Yeah. We got baschetti or linguine or fettuccine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get our cans. Oh. Was the scale correct is the question. Yay! Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you're scared. <laughs> oh. I'm scared now. But we have, I think we're good. Oh, let's see how much the mushrooms. <laughs> These balls. Ah! Our estimation was pretty correct. Almost $2 for four mushrooms. <laughs> Hummus. Oh, God. I think we're good. One lemon. That's our total. Yay! Less than $40. Now let's see what I can make. All right guys, so here is what I got for about 40 Canadian dollars, also known as about 30 US dollars. So first we have a few canned products. We got chickpeas, a can of chickpeas, and a can of black beans. Now if you buy dry beans, it is cheaper, okay? It is cheaper to buy dry beans and cook them from scratch, but we don't have time today. So we have to get the canned beans. So one can each of chickpeas and black beans. Also got some tomato sauce, a big can of tomato sauce. We also have some pasta. Pasta is always very cheap. Apparently fettuccine is cheaper than spaghetti. Who knew? So thing of fettuccine. And we also have some rice. Now I got this one that is parboiled rice. Yay! And this one is actually brown rice, so yay! And then we got some uh, tortilla wraps. We're gonna make some wraps, so there you go. And then, of course, tofu. Guys, tofu has gone up in price, but I found these relatively cheaper ones. Uh, we have firm and we have extra firm. So we got two blocks of that. And we got four. Four mushrooms for almost two dollars. What is going on? And then we have two Roma tomatoes, some roasted red pepper hummus, a lemon for a dollar, thing of broccoli. This was like pretty cheap. I think it was three dollars for this, which is pretty good. Although like lots of this, but we're gonna use it all because I don't want to waste it. And of course, the onions. Instead of buying one onion for a million dollars, I bought a bag of onions. <laughs> so at least I have a lot of onions. Yay! Some spinach, we got some baby spinach, and some mixed frozen vegetables. My friends, this was about $40 Canadian, and we're gonna see what we can make with this stuff. Now obviously I did not count oils and, and um, seasonings, because I have a bunch of those, I'm not gonna buy them, okay? So those things don't count, <laughs> but the majority of the food bought with just $40, and then let's see what kind of meal prep we can do. And yeah. All right, you guys, so before we jump into the recipes, I have to tell you about my favorite multivitamin to take as a vegan, which is Complement. So today's video is very kindly sponsored by Complement, and Complement is awesome. The reason being is that it is designed for and by plant-based eaters. So it is specifically designed to complement a healthy plant-based diet, meaning that it really focuses on what sort of vitamins and minerals may be lacking from a plant-based diet alone, and it really packs it into one easy to take capsule. So you don't have to worry about buying multiple, you know, jars of vitamins and different things. You basically just need this and that's basically it. It makes your life so much easier and it makes it cheaper because you don't have to buy multiple different things separately. Everything you need is in here. So Complement has eight essential vitamins and minerals and sustainably sourced omega-3s that you might be lacking in your plant-based diet and it just gives you peace of mind knowing that in here you are just kind of covering your bases. Obviously having a healthy diet is very important but there are a few vitamins and minerals that we may want to take when we are plant-based. So this has you covered. So really this has no extra fluff or extra things that you may not need and you might be just peeing out because if you are just taking more than you need, you just end up peeing it out. So Complement is third party tested and another thing I love about them is that they actually provide a free plant-based meal to a child in need for every product purchase. And today you can save 15% off of Complement Essential. So the link is down below and use my code CheapLazyVegan to save 15%. And if you want to save more money, you can actually subscribe 
subscribe and when you subscribe that saves you a little bit more money and then you can get your vitamins on a regular basis so you never forget to take your vitamin and definitely check out their other products as well they've got some greens they also have some uh, protein powders which I love as well so check those out the link is down below and once again the code is cheap lazy vegan and I hope you guys enjoy this product just as much as I do thank you so much to compliment for sponsoring today's video now back to the recipes all right you guys so let's get started with the first recipe so first we are going to make some Mexican style rice we're gonna make it a little bit more filling we're gonna make it a full meal so let's get started so first we have a big pot here right here we got a nice little Dutch oven I'm gonna add some oil yes mm -hmm. we're gonna add a bit of oil there we go and with the oil I'm gonna add in some onions we're gonna saute some onions remember we bought that big bag of onions so let's do that so we're just gonna saute for like a minute okay just to let it kind of become nice and golden, kind of soften up a little bit. Get it nice and fragrant. Mm, it smells so good. I probably could have added more onions, actually. All right, now let's add in our rice. We have here that brown rice. Let's see how it cooks, okay? Apparently it cooks like pasta. Let's see, we're gonna add that in, and then we're just gonna toast it with the kind of oil for a little bit. That, just keep stirring it. Get it coated in that oil for a couple minutes. So this is brown rice, but you can obviously use white rice if you want. Now, if your stove is really strong, maybe turn the heat down a little bit, uh, but mine is not that strong. At least I don't think it's gonna splatter. So we're gonna add <gasps> some water, okay? Ooh. There we go, add some water. We're also gonna add the tomato sauce. Remember that large can of tomato sauce that we bought? So it looks like traditionally um, they use a lot of like chicken, chicken broth or something, or chicken seasoning, but we're gonna use better than bouillon, which is basically like a vegetable sort of seasoning. So we're gonna add that. It's, it's perfect for making like veggie broth, stuff like that. So vegetable bouillon. Let's make sure we get all of it. Wonderful. Oh, so salty. And then for seasonings, we're gonna add some garlic powder and some chili powder. Let's give this a little stir. Careful, I'm gonna splash it everywhere. And so, at this point, I'm also going to add some frozen mixed vegetables. So, you can just use frozen peas, or you can do what I'm doing and just add frozen mixed veggies. I got frozen mixed veggies because I feel like it's just more versatile. I can use it for other things as well, because obviously I'm on a budget, so I wanna make sure that, you know, I'm, you know, getting the most out of my money. So we're gonna add frozen mixed veggies. There we go. We're gonna add that in. I'm also wanting to add some black beans. Now this part is optional, but we wanna make this high protein, we wanna make this filling, and beans are a great way to do that. So we're gonna add half a can of the black beans. It's gonna add more protein, it's gonna make this filling, and yeah, why not? Why not add it? Because if you just have a really hard carb heavy meal, I feel like you get hungry really fast. So I try to always add in some sort of protein into my meals so that I am full. We're gonna now let this come to a boil. And then when it comes to a boil, we're gonna turn it down to like a medium to medium low, and then just kind of let it simmer for about 15, 20 minutes or until basically all of that liquid has been absorbed and it's ready, okay? So let's bring this to a boil. And then while this is cooking, you can prep the next thing. All right, friends, so here is the rice after about 20-ish minutes on the stove. As you can see, it's soaked up all that liquid, and now we are just left with this delicious rice. Now, I'm gonna add in some salt. So add salt and pepper to taste, guys. And what I also wanna do at the very end, this part is optional, I mean, you can just kind of enjoy it like this as like a nice side to whatever, but I wanna add in, like I mentioned, a little bit of lemon because it's gonna give it a little bit of a burst of flavor. So I'm just gonna juice half of this lemon. But like, can we talk about the thickness of the skin, okay? I feel like I've been conned, okay? This was a dollar, it's mostly skin. So I'm just gonna get some of that juice, get as much as I can. Oh my God, that's like literally nothing. Anyway, whatever, we're gonna throw this in here. That's optional and I'm kind of cheating a little bit, you guys. I already had some cilantro in my house and I think this would just go really well, you know, with cilantro. So I'm gonna add in some cilantro, but this part is optional. Some people don't like cilantro, so. So I'm kind of cheating, but it's not really needed needed, but it's nice. I don't know what my excuse is. My excuse is that I have cilantro and I wanna add it, okay? So I'm gonna add that in here, give it a good mix. I love cilantro so much. It smells so nice and fresh. And then, there you go. Super simple. 
delicious. There's our rice. Next, we are going to make some scrambled tofu. Now, I have a vision. My vision is that we're gonna make some breakfast burritos, some eggless breakfast burritos, some scrambled tofu breakfast burritos, and hopefully they will be freezer friendly. I think they will be. So that's what we're making. But I'm also going to make extra scrambled tofu because we're gonna serve that with the Mexican rice that we just made. So that's like extra protein, extra, because I like to have a little bit of variety in every meal as well. So I think that would be really great to make two things or two blocks of scrambled tofu. So we're really, really making a lot of scrambled tofu here. We're gonna mix the firm tofu with the extra firm. Let's see how firm it is. Pretty firm. I don't really feel a difference between either of these, but okay. So what we're gonna do is take a large pan because we're dealing with a lot of tofu here. Now maybe I'll do, hmm, maybe I'll do half half to make it easier. Hmm, yeah, okay, so first, Let's add some oil on the pan, okay? Vegetable oil, pan is quite hot. I'm just gonna turn it down just a little bit. So we're gonna do some mushrooms on one side, some tomatoes and some onion. And then on the other side, let's add the tofu. Now what we want to do is we want to just crumble. Ah, be careful. Crumble the tofu, try not to burn yourself. Like I am right now. We're making a lot of tofu, guys. There you go, one more. So I'm just gonna try to cook that separately. Turn that up again. Just kind of saute it separately if you can and let that water kind of evaporate. And then after it's cooked separately for a while, you can join it all together. Okay, it'll take some time. All right, so it's been cooking separately for a little, a little bit. It's not cooking as fast as I would like to, but I'm just gonna mix it all together now. As you can see, there's a lot of that water. It still needs to cook a little bit longer. Basically, I want most of that like liquid to go away, okay? So, but we're just gonna mix it all together. Just add a little salt. It needs a little bit longer, and then we're gonna add in the seasoning. All right, guys, so as you can see here, we've let this cook for a few minutes, and I don't know if you can see, but most of that water is gone. So now we can add in our seasoning. So, if you guys don't know by now, I have a scrambled tofu seasoning mix. So you gotta make this if you like to make scrambled tofu often because this has everything you need for a delicious scrambled tofu. So I'm gonna use my little seasoning mix, which I'm running low up, so I need to make more. And um, yeah, this is basically all I use for a scrambled tofu other than like maybe some salt. So I'm just gonna add a bit of that. You can add as much or as little as you want. I like to add quite a bit. This has like a mixture of turmeric, nutritional yeast, cumin, I think there's paprika in there. So just like a lot of good stuff and it makes your scrambled tofu life much easier. So we're gonna use that for our scrambled tofu. Look at that color. See, we're getting that beautiful color. And of course you can give it a little taste and see if you need to add any more. Let me actually give it a little taste. Mmm, that looks pretty good. I'm also gonna add just a bit more salt and a little bit of pepper. Perfect. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna make this even higher in protein, and since we have these lovely beans ready to go, we're gonna add some in here. And I'm also gonna add some spinach. Throw that in there, big, maybe two big handfuls. There we go. Right, let's just mix that. And basically just wanna mix it until the spinach is nicely wilted. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of lemon juice at the very end, just to bring out that flavor. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. That's a little hack if you wanna use like a little less sodium or something. Um, just add a little bit of lemon juice at the end of whatever or on top of your food and it will bring out all that flavor without too much extra sodium, so. I like to do it a lot for like soups and stuff. All right, here we go. So, as you can see, the spinach is wilting nicely. Now, just a tiny, tiny little drop like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna set this aside. We're gonna do the rest of the tofu and, but we're gonna do it differently, I've decided. Last minute, I've decided to do the next batch of tofu slightly differently, and um, I'll show you now. All right, let's set this aside. All right guys, 
so the next batch of tofu which I'm gonna add on top of the rice is going to be a little bit more of a Mexican flair. I have this fajita seasoning, so I'm gonna use this instead of the scrambled tofu seasoning. So it's gonna be very, very similar, but just like slightly different, just to add a different, you know, different flavor. So again, a little bit of oil onto that pan. Make sure the pan is on, make sure it's nice and hot. We're using the same pan, who cares, right? So we're gonna add some onion, some uh, tomato, and the mushroom. Let it cook down a bit first, and then I'll add the tofu. That'll be my little new strategy. Add a little bit of salt. All right, so I've cooked this down a bit, you guys. So I'm gonna put this to the side again. You can add more oil if you want. I don't think I need to. So again, we're going to crumble up the rest of that tofu using our lovely hands. Ooh, it's one of my favorite parts. <laughs> There we go. Let's cook this down first, like we did before, and then we can add our seasonings. All right guys, so most of this water is gone. We can now add in the rest of our things. Now I wanna add in maybe a little bit of the tomato sauce. I'm kinda winging this one. This is just kinda random. Add in a bit of tomato sauce, add that flavor. Apparently a lot of tomato sauce. Now I'm also going to add that fajita seasoning. Basically you can use like a taco seasoning, you can use different mixture of spices that normally go into fajita seasoning. Um, I just happen to have this, so I'm just using it and it's gonna give a really nice flavor to this tofu. Just let this cook a little bit longer. Might as well add in some spinach. Let's be healthy, guys. Let's be healthy. So again, that spinach, gonna mix it well. And this is gonna go with our Mexican rice. All right, all right, everybody. So the next thing, I'm just gonna cook up this broccoli. I chopped it up. Um, I saved the, what do you call it? The stock for something else. But for now, I'm just gonna cook up the broccoli and just kind of use it as like a side vegetable to whatever meals I want to, you know, have it with. And so yeah, it's gonna be very simple and easy. I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil on a pan. You can also air fry this. You can also, you know, roast this in the oven. But I'm just going to use a raw pan, okay? So we're just gonna very, very lightly cook it just until the greens become super green. Uh, you can also boil this. I like to sometimes just uh, boil some water and just let this sit in boiled water for like five minutes. But obviously it tastes better when it's cooked with a little bit of oil, uh-huh. So we're just gonna cook this up and that's gonna be a side to whatever, okay? So we still gotta eat our vegetables even if we are being budget friendly. There we go. Um, and then for seasoning, I'm actually just gonna use this garlic plus seasoning. Again, I just have this in my house. I often use this for random veggies. It's pretty good. It has like a little salt in there. I, I use quite a bit. Kind of nice. Uh, you can obviously use whatever seasonings you want to. And uh, you can just use like salt and garlic powder, garlic salt. Whatever you want. I really like this garlic plus seasoning, so here we go. And as you can see, it's already cooking up nicely. Sometimes I like to add a little splash of water to help it cook. Look at the color. It's already becoming really nice and bright. I love broccoli, so if you like broccoli, we will get along. All right, guys, so now we're gonna put together the breakfast burrito. I feel like this could make five, four or five. Let's see how it looks. A decent amount into the tortilla wrap and then we're just gonna wrap it so i think i would normally want to eat this with salsa or a hot sauce so that is optional to you okay at the time of serving um you can also add a little bit of vegan cheese you can add whatever you want there you go look how cute oh my gosh it's perfect there you go there's one let's make more these are super high in protein because we got tofu we got black beans these can be frozen so if you freeze them you just have to kind of thaw it out maybe in the microwave and then I would like to grill it okay on like I don't know a panini press or just on a pan you should make one big one so yeah this can either make five smaller uh, breakfast burritos or four big ones so it's up to you how big you want to make them one last one okay so I made five but I think next time I would probably just make four because I don't know I'm a 
I have a big appetite, so I think I would want to eat, you know, a big fat one. So anyways, those are the burritos, and then whenever I'm ready to eat them, I think I would just like grill it on the stove with a little bit, like on a pan, with a little bit of oil, and just get it nice and browned, and then enjoy it with some hot sauce or some salsa. we're gonna make is going to be a hummus pasta. If you guys have not tried just making hummus pasta, like literally using hummus as the pasta sauce, you gotta try it. It's so easy, so simple. Obviously we all love hummus, so let's make it. So I got the pasta cooking, it's almost cooked. So again, we're gonna use a pan. I'm just gonna use, again, a dirty pan, cause who cares? It's nicely seasoned, okay? So this is nice and hot. We're gonna add in some onion. Now, honestly, if you want to keep it like super simple, you can literally just mix hummus with pasta, call it a day, you don't have to add all this other stuff, but I want to make it slightly more interesting, okay? You know, this time I'm going to actually cook up some of the spinach now. Again, we're going to do like quite a bit of spinach. We're using a lot of spinach, guys. We have strong. So just cook up the onion with spinach, add a tiny bit of salt now, and now we add the hummus. Now. You can use literally the entire tub of hummus. Well, depends on how big the hummus is, but um, I'm using basically the whole tub of hummus. Ooh. So now we have this hummus concoction. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the pasta along with some of the pasta water, which is going to help with this whole process. So here we are, we cooked up the pasta. Look at all that linguine, is it linguine? Fettuccine. As you can see, not much water is left. You know what, I'm just gonna pour it all in there. So a little bit of the pasta water with the cooked pasta. So I'm actually using a roasted pepper hummus, as you guys have seen, um, but if you just want to use a regular hummus, definitely works as well. Um, yeah, just do whatever you want. So we're just gonna make sure we get that mixed really nicely. Now guys, try and heat off, and then I'm gonna add some lemon juice. Again, we're gonna bring out that flavor, add the rest of this lemon juice. Okay, let's see how much comes out of this. Not too much, but hey. Again, that's gonna add a burst of flavor. And if you guys remember, we also have some chickpeas. So we're gonna add some chickpeas as well for additional protein. You can add the entire can if you want, if you want like a really high protein meal. And now I'm just gonna give this a little taste and see what else it needs. Mm. Mm. It's so good. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Mm -hmm. Nice and creamy, and yeah, so easy. There you go, there's the hummus pasta. I think I made like five servings. And you know what, I kinda wanna add, this part is optional, but I kinda wanna add a little bit of lemon zest, okay? Make the most out of that lemon. Mm -hmm. Just a bit of lemon zest, this part, totally optional. I think this actually would be really good if you just use a regular hummus to add some of that lemon zest. Um, the roasted pepper, I'm not really sure how that's gonna work. Give it a little try here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Lemon vest. Mm hmm. I need more. That's actually so good. <laughs> Highly recommend adding in that zest. Mmm. So good, you guys. So there you go. That's the hummus pasta. Super simple, super easy, and delicious. All right, everybody. So as you can see here, we have a ton of uh, food <laughs> that I made with just 40 Canadian dollars or 30 US dollars. I still have other food. Like for example, there's still a lot of rice left. There's still some chickpeas left. So I might roast these and use that as a snack. We got some broccoli that I'm just gonna disperse. I haven't fully packaged up all the food yet, but here it is guys. As you can see, you can make a ton of vegan food on a budget. So yes, we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't even know how many servings. We got like five servings of pasta here. This one is two. We got tons of the rice. I'm gonna eat this with the tofu here. I just don't have enough containers to fully uh, divide them into like individual containers. And then we have like five different breakfast burritos. 
We got lots of broccoli that I can add as a side to whatever meal I choose. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know down below if you guys want more budget meal prep ideas. I have an entire playlist for my meal prep videos, so definitely check those out. I've been making meal prep videos since the beginning of time, so <laughs> check those out, you guys. And yeah, hopefully this helps you budget and motivates you to do some meal prep yourself. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. All the recipes will be linked down below, so definitely check those out. And don't forget to check out Compliment. Thank you so much to Compliment for sponsoring today's video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Okay, bye!